Welcome back to the Tech Space. Before we get into this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And we're going to jump straight into this video. So what I'm going to show you guys in this video are the streaming options that I personally use for Xbox One when I stream it onto my desktop and then I use OBS to capture it so what I'm gonna do is again just show you that uh, I go down to settings here at the way bottom and we'll go straight through every single setting so I have live tile off I have uh, share achievements automatically off and this just relieves some of the stress if you tear, turn both of these things off of your system um, I have the correct speaker make sure you have the correct speakers that you're using um, and the volume all the way up um, you want your microphone that you're using, make sure you have the correct microphone that you're using. Um, next we have use or ease of access, which is just, um, you know, for people who have handicaps, if you don't have a handicap, just use the Windows setting because if you don't have handicap settings on your Windows, it's not going to show up in the app. So next we have uh, game chat transcription off, uh, text to speech off, text to voice off, uh, let games read to me off. A theme you can have whatever you want doesn't matter um, and then next we have notifications turn all notifications off again that just relieves some of the stress on the Xbox one app uh, and game DVR if you have the options there make sure you have that off if you are streaming and recording using some other software if you want to record while you're streaming then you're gonna want to have the game DVR on but just know if you have a slow internet connection or if you have a slow PC it's going to put shitload of stress on your system make it a lot harder for you to actually get that job done so next we have Xbox one streaming quality uh, your video encoding level you're gonna wanna put wherever you think your video card is so if you have an average computer just go to medium you should be fine if you have a below average computer um, or a laptop use low and if you have a decently good computer that was made within the last two years and you bought it stock or you built your own computer you should be good on high or very high um, so you can test those out I use medium or high I never use very high um, rarely at least um, typing on Xbox one show keyboard when I'm type. well one thing I'll go over is the streaming quality you can think of this as probably 720 this is 720p and the very high would be 1080p so that's just a breakdown of what those would probably be show keyboard when I'm typing on console turn that off network that just shows you you know if you're connected to your network and everything's good there and that's it with the streaming settings we're going to go into uh different things in the rest of this video so if you want to stay tuned there's going to be a shitload of stuff that you're going to want to do so this is what i do basically before i start streaming and we're going to start that half video next i'm not going to put that in this video actually this will be part one and that'll be part two so if you want to check out that video part two link in the description check it out other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like these settings again, click like, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys again in the next video of this series. Welcome back. This is the second part to how to have the best streaming settings on Xbox One when you're streaming it to Windows 10. And we're going to go over a little bit more in this video than we did in the last video, so just make sure you hit like and subscribe because I'm going over the best possible solutions for you guys. And what we're going to go over first is make sure that okay go to your start button and type in services and we're going to go down this as a list in order so just follow along with me type services into search and click enter you'll get this screen that'll pop up what you're going to make sure is go to status over here on the top click it when you get all these apps that are running make sure you go through here individually and start disconnecting things that you don't want so i'll tell you off top things that i disconnect and that you should probably disconnect as well so we'll go to startup type and we'll go to disabled so what I have disabled you can see is Google update that runs a lot in the background if you have Google update running in the background you're probably going to lag you have a slower internet so go to Google update make sure you right click on it go to properties and click where it has start right here um, if, I mean where it has stop right here click stop and then go to startup type like disable close that and then you're gonna want to do that to both Google updates uh, some other things that you can disable are Windows update if you don't want to update Windows Windows search 
that's a big thing this runs all the time where it says status you can see it says running right click it stop it you just do this to all the things that you don't want running at that moment so when you're streaming or when you have your xbox set up in the app to stream you want to have as little latency as possible so let's go ahead and stop all these services that you don't need so bonjour service that's for iphone connecting to itunes don't need that right now we're going to disable or stop that service as well and these services won't start up again unless they're called on upon uh, adobe update service and the adobe uh, genuine software integrity service don't need running so we're going to close that. I'm not using anything from Adobe right now. I'm not using Microsoft Office. So we're going to stop those. And this is just things that you do to help your stream. So once you're done with services and you're done stopping and disabling things that you don't, well, you disable things you don't want, and then you stop tasks that you don't want running at that moment. So if you don't want it at all, just disable it. If you don't want it running at that moment, just uh, click stop. Um, what you're going to want to do next is go to your task manager. So you can press Control Delete, as you know, or you can just go down to the taskbar down here, anywhere where it's blank on the taskbar at least. Right click on it, click Task Manager, and you'll get the Task Manager window. So once the Task Manager window is up, you can go in here, go to Startup, and disable everything in here. Anything that you want to start on your computer, you should start it. You don't need it to start by itself. So disable everything in here. And that just stops it from starting up when you're online. So next, what we're going to want to do is go over to Processes and right-click on your background processes and as well as your um, apps that are running now and close everything that you don't need. So show you right now. I'm not using the Microsoft Store. We're going to close that. I'm not using Microsoft Queuing Service. I'm going to close that. I'm not using my printer. Close that. And again, if you are starting, if you do start to use these, these will just come back up. So it's not going to disable it forever. It's not going to mess up anything. It's just stopping that service from running at that moment. Um, once you're done with this task manager, what you're going to want to do is go down to start again. And there's a few things I'm going to show you guys here that are very, very important. Type in system configuration. So these are things that people rarely do and things that, you know, not many people are going to give you the hint of doing. So you type in system configuration in your start menu type enter or press enter or you'll click on um i'll just reshow you gosh okay so go to start again type in system configuration and you see this right here just click on it and you'll get this window that pops up in this window make sure you have selected startup load system services and load startup items make sure both of these are unchecked go to your boot options click on your windows 10 operating system highlight it because you might have more than one operating system or more than one boot drive click on your operating system you're currently using go to advanced options tick number of processors put the maximum number that you can use and tick PCI lock and then once you're done with that go ahead and uncheck maximum memory make sure all of this is the same as I have it just have um, it should go off once you have number of processors checked and PCI lock checked and then maximum memory again unchecked click ok go ahead and click apply and then we're going to go over here to cert well no we're not going to do the services right now we're going to go because we did that in the first thing so we're gonna, next we're going to go to tools we're going to go to security and maintenance well no before we go to that um we actually get through that to a different menu through a different menu and that's going well once you close that you click apply you close that click exit without restart okay so sorry about that go ahead click apply and then click ok exit without restart and then what we're going to want to do next is go down to search again type in percent t e m p percent and these are just the things that i do and that everybody who i would say is you know a computer uh support specialist would tell you to do so type percent t e m p percent and then click enter you'll get this folder that pops up delete everything in this folder because these are temporary things that are stored on your computer while you're on the internet you might have a lot 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 more than i have in mind um so make sure you delete that and then the last thing we're going to want to do is if you're again on you should be on windows 10 if you're watching this video so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead type in 
Well, actually, what we'll do is just click settings here. Make sure if you have any updates to update your computer. So scroll all the way down to update and security, update your computer, and then go to gaming in the gaming section. So once we're in the gaming section, make sure you have game bar off. You don't need it. Um, that's just going to make more latency. You don't need any hotkeys unless you want them specifically. Um, I don't use any hotkeys. So as you can see here, no hotkeys. Both of these unchecked with the game bar off. Game DVR does not work on this computer, so I don't have it on, but I wouldn't have it on anyway. So if you are looking for low latency, turn the game DVR off because that records everything that is streaming. Next we have game mode, and game mode is basically um, it says game mode Windows 10 ensures that if you play your games with the best experience possible. This PC supports game mode. Learn more about game mode. And actually we'll go ahead and pull up this page. So it says use game mode while gaming on your PC. Launch a game, open game bar while pressing the Windows logo in G. Select turn game mode on. And I guess it's basically just to have like a little bit more information on your screen. So you can have game mode on if you want, but I wouldn't suggest it. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. Go back to settings, true play, have this off. If you have, um, it says, if you have TruePlay on, gaming is more fun when everyone plays fairly, will share system info with games using TruePlay to make sure everyone, everything runs the way it is meant to. So this is basically the anti-cheat system and it sends feedback so that the people making the games can help, um, you'll help them pick out who's cheating and pick out who's not cheating just by basically sending them data to collect to understand who's playing normally and then who's not. So the last thing we have here is Xbox networking, which just checks your network, gives you your latency, your packet loss. Once you're done with all these steps, make sure you go ahead, run this, and make sure that you're getting a decent latency under 100 milliseconds, and you should be good. Um, next, we're just gonna go to our desktop and delete everything out of the recycling bin. As you can see here, if you can see it behind this big thing um recycling bin go ahead take it right click on it empty recycling bin click yes continue if you need to and you're done so that's basically what i do before i start my streams if you guys are interested and you guys like this tutorial let me know this increases my fps and my latency or it reduces my latency and increases my fps so much like literally making these steps are essential to having a good stream if you don't have like top top notch internet connection because of all of the different factors that go into streaming so if you're using windows 10 streaming to uh then be captured on by obs like i use um i pull up xbox on my computer screen one of them and i then uh pull up obs and i re i capture that computer screen and stream so that's a way to stream and if you guys are interested and you guys like these tips and tricks to stream a lot better even if you have low latency let me know because they are going to help you every time and i can almost guarantee you if you haven't been doing all these things you're going to be surprised at the impact that it's going to create when you're streaming so like and subscribe to my channel tons of more videos tons of more video ideas if you guys have any questions let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video but again make sure you guys like and subscribe because i want to make sure you guys are watching all my videos and again i'll see you guys next time